UFC 300, let's go. First fight of the night, Cody Jardbrandt, big weirdo. And it was weird to see two guys who were like ex-champs be on the first fight of the night. That's crazy. But that was part of the magic of this card. And still, UFC 100 was the best. Pretty weirdo, looked good, uses grappling. Jarbrandt really couldn't get off his, his offense on his feet very much. Pretty weirdo was able to get to the clinches, get to the takedowns, get to the grappling, put him in tough positions, to make him work, and then pulled the submission at the end of round two. Bobby Green, Jim F. And Miller. Jim F. And Miller, love it. He's been fighting for a long time. Just gets after it. Always performs. Always looking for the win. I like it. Bobby Green looked great. When he's not at the mall scaring white people, he really is a handful <laughs> in the cage. He's very smooth, switching his stance. He doesn't leave himself open that much with that. And he's athletic enough still in his early 30s to keep his hands down fairly low and use that to draw people in. That's bait. That's bait when, when somebody like Bobby Green has his hands down. It could be inexperienced and the guy's terrible, or it's Bobby Green and that's bait. And he is sticking his head out there. Ooh, ooh, come on, mother grabber. Come and hit me. Come on, come on. And he makes you miss, and he tries to counter. Speed was a big factor in this fight, and Bobby Green had it. He didn't hit the gas too early. He stayed at an even-keeled pace and continually jabbed and pecked Jim Miller's face using his jab like a woodpecker's beak in a thick tree and just bop, 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 switch stance, bop, bop, bop. He looked great. He did a great job. It was a great bounce back from his last fight. Jessica Andrade, Mariana Rodriguez, she just tanked her way through that. Lightweight, last fight of the early prelims. This was put up on the tee, $300,000 bonus on the tee for Jalen Turner. He knocked Hanato Maikano down. Very tough fighter, knocked him down at the very end of the first round. There's literally like 15 seconds, 14 seconds left on the clock. And instead of following him to the ground when he knocked him down, he walked away. He looked for the walk away finish and the ref let it keep going. <laughs> The ref let it keep going. Mike Gano recovered. He survived the last 15 seconds and was able to shake it off. He needs to give a big wet kiss to his corner, putting the ice on him, getting him woken up, and getting his cognitive senses back in the fight and ready to go i don't know man i think this is a this is another muff by turner was not kind of jumping on him early the second round and trying to see if he was still with the cobwebs micano was able to fight to the clinch get takedown get some work in on top force some grappling find his way to a dominant position and get the tko early prelims rock solid enjoyed them